In Yemen, opposition leader Mohamed Baswindwa has been named the country's new prime minister and is expected to form an interim government before presidential elections in February. Last week, longtime ruler Ali Abdullah Saleh agreed to step down from power following months of protests and street clashes. Part of the deal included immunity from prosecution. But some are calling for Saleh to face justice. Today, Nobel Peace laureate Tawako Karman said she had met with the International Criminal Court to urge it to investigate Saleh's role in the violent crackdown on protesters during the past 10 months. In Egypt, people turned out to vote in large numbers today, even as demonstrators continue to block the country's cabinet building. It's the first parliamentary elections since the removal of dictator Hosni Mubarak, and they have been preceded by a week of violence in and outside of Cairo, as demonstrators have clashed with riot police and the military, leaving more than 40 dead. David Enders is in Alexandria, Egypt, and files this report. In the country's second largest city, people holding umbrellas waited patiently outside polling stations as it rained off and on. At mid-afternoon, hundreds were still waiting in line, and authorities announced that voting would be extended countrywide until 9 p.m. It was clear that many Egyptians were optimistic elections might be a first step in transitioning power from the military council that has ruled Egypt since Mubarak's ouster in February. During this period, dozens of activists have been killed and more than 12,000 civilians have been subjected to military trials. The generals who make up the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces had initially said they would transfer power to civilians within six months, before suggesting that it might be as long as two years before presidential elections were held, prompting demonstrations last week demanding the military hand over power to a civilian government without delay. Egypt has not had a free election in more than 60 years, and Adel, an English teacher, echoed the sentiments of many others as he stood in line to vote. We are deciding what we are going to be in the future. We have power. We have the power of voting here. And we are doing it today. We are doing it very well today. The Military Council has now said presidential elections will take place by June, though it is still unclear what mandate the newly elected parliament will have. The Military Council has so far refused to compromise on a draft law for writing the country's constitution that would give the military unchecked oversight of the process. But for the moment, many Egyptians appeared ready to give elections a chance, hoping the new parliament might find a way to effect change. As voting began, it appeared the day was dominated by supporters of conservative religious parties, including the Muslim Brotherhood, whose Freedom and Justice Party appeared to be the best organized and most popular ahead of elections. Hazem Hilal is a candidate with Qutla, a group of secular parties that appeared to be posing the greatest challenge to the Brotherhood's dominance, which included a deployment of thousands of volunteers to help get out the vote. They were organized not from this year or the last year, they've been organized since like over 30 years. They have the experience of going through election campaign. Cutler members have painted the election campaign as a contest between secular and Christian Egyptians and conservative Muslim parties. It's, it's like a big fight, this parliament. It's like a fight and a battle between a civil country and a Muslim um, backgrounded, uh, strict uh, country. So people are divided. It's like this and that they have. I've been to this election camp, um, to, uh, today morning and people uh, were there talking in front of me and the line that they want a civil country. They want to be tied up to a certain things. This is the battle. And uh, we know that this parliament is only for one, one year to one year and a half. It's for uh, the constitution. And if the constitution do not serve a political, uh, a civil, civilized uh, country, then we failed in this battle. At the Muslim Brotherhood headquarters, spokesperson Mohammed Sudan refuted Hilal's claims. We love our country. We're going to work together to upgrade our country, to get our dignity back, to build back our country. Sudan also said the military council would be held to its promise to hold elections by June. We uh, believe them and uh, we trust them. And uh, if they do something else, which they already promised, and that was uh, like a bridge from the uh, Supreme Council to the Egyptian people, 
then going to be in that time another talking. The election system is confusing, even to Egyptians. Elections will take place in three two-day stages, with the last round coming in January. There were also concerns for the security of ballots, which are to be kept at the Ministry of Interior, an institution distrusted by many Egyptians is seen as central to Mubarak's dictatorship. David Enders, FSRN, Alexandria.